Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing a um, perfume favorites video, and these are my five top favorite f favorite perfumes for the winter time. And these are the ones that I wear most in the winter time. And I'm gonna do like a series where I um, pick five that I wear during the um, summer months and the fall and spring and whatnot so okay so I'm gonna begin with one of my all-time favorites and it's Narcisa Rodriguez for her it's the pink bottle it's the I believe, believe it's the um, auto perfume version but they have a black bottle as well but um, this is this is one of my favorites. Oh my god. It just smells so comforting. I don't know the notes that are in it, but I know, but I know that a lot of my fragrances that I like have musk, like musky undertones. And it's like a really soft, um, like a soft, almost powdery, but like not powdery, more like creamy. Like a creamy fragrance. I really, really definitely recommend this fragrance. Um, so if you're ever at like Macy's or Bloomingdale's, definitely try this out because oh, it just smells so beautiful. It's so comforting. I am just in love with this one. The other one that I really like, and I actually like this one for like all season long. Except for maybe summer, because it's a little too overpowering for summer. It's the Michael by Michael Kors. It's the original Michael Kors. Uh, it just smells... This is a floral. This, this has gardenia in it. So if you like the, the first original Juicy Couture fragrance, you might like this fragrance as well. It's more like a tropical floral. That's what I would describe it as. And I'm really horrible at describing fragrances. But it's more of like a tropical uh, floral. Like if you were to go to like Bermuda or somewhere and they have like these tropical flowers. So it's definitely like a floral. It's not spicy, but it's more like sweet. Like a sweet floral fragrance. I really like it. My other favorite third is Viva La Juicy La Fleur. So this is like the more mature cousin to Viva La Juicy, the original. But it actually has more of just like a little bit stronger than Viva La Juicy. It definitely stays on the skin for longer. And it's just beautiful sweet scent if you're into sweet scents you would definitely like if you like the evil or juicy by juicy couture you would definitely love this and look how pretty this is i'm not sure if this is a limited edition um fragrance but i had to get the biggest bottle of this because this is probably one of my favorites out of everything that i own so it's just oh my god it just smells sweet and fruity. Well, not fruity, but like a sweet floral. So it's so, so nice. So beautiful. My fourth one is Versace Crystal Noir. And it's more for like nighttime, but it's just a seductive, sexy, mature scent. A lot of people won't like it, but I absolutely love it. And actually, my my boyfriend's 18-year-old daughter loves this fragrance. So, it's just so seductive and creamy. Just like a creamy amber note in there. So, as you can tell, I love amber. <laughs> so, I love the packaging to this and I also have the regular uh, Versace crystal bright crystal and that one I like for summer so 
And then the f fifth one is Angel by Thierry Mugler. I love this one. A lot of people hate it because the patchouli is way too strong or whatever it is, whatever the case may be, but I really love this fragrance. Once it airs out, like, oh no, my cat, <laughs> sorry. Um, this fragrance, you have to, like, try it on and, like, wait at least, like, 20 minutes before you, before you, like, you know, what am I trying to say? Uh, just, the dry down is really beautiful on this. It's like a soft musk patchouli. It has chocolate notes in it. It's just like really, really nice. This is the most, um, this is the perfume that I get most complimented on by guys and girls. So I absolutely love, love, love this one. This is probably one of my top favorites for the winter time. Because it's a little bit strong, all you need is just one spritz, and it lasts all freaking day. Now, with this fragrance, I actually tried it once. I sprayed it in the store, and I guess I sprayed way too much, and I, like, hated it. I was like, whoa, this just smells so gross, like, too much, too overpowering. And then I was, like, taking the train back uh, from New York, from uh, Manhattan, and I kept on smelling something, and it was this fragrance, and I was like, it's so addictive. And I was like, oh my god, I can't stop smelling my wrist, and it was this, so. There you have it, those are my favorite, uh, top five uh, favorite perfumes for winter time. And there they are, set of set up <sighs> okay so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will be coming up with more videos uh, just let me know in the comments below which your what your favorites are for winter okay talk to you guys later bye love you all